Alright, the aim of this problem is to determine the enthalpy change of combustion for one mole of ethanol. Let's see what's given to us. So, a student is heating a copper calorie meter, it's a copper container, uh, filled with 100 cm cube of water with a spirit lamp. So, this is where the alcohol is. So, the alcohol is being burned or combusted to produce heat energy and that heat energy is absorbed by 100 cm cube of water. So for and this is the temperature change that is happening in the water. So the temperature of water is rising from 20 to 55 degrees Celsius. So first we need to calculate the heat energy Q of water basically. So as we know the formula is Q equals MC delta T m here is the mass of water because that's the one that is absorbing heat energy produced from that combustion reaction so in a combustion reaction we usually plug in the mass of water and see the specific heat capacity of water this is a constant like your pi value that's 4.18 joule per gram degree celsius and delta t delta means change here delta T represents change in temperature. So the change in temperature is if you subtract these two values that would be about 35 degrees Celsius. So 35 degrees Celsius. So we're calculating the Q heat energy. So that would be about let's say 14,630 joules. So if I want to convert this into a bigger unit so I can divide this by 1000 so I can convert that to kilojoules 14.6 kilojoules that's still three significant figures so that is the heat energy Q that is basically transferred to water or produced from the combustion reaction now our goal is to calculate so this much of heat energy is produced when these many grams of alcohol is being burned but the question is how much heat energy is produced if you combust one mole of alcohol. So we have to scale it up. So I'll give you a simple formula in the form of a triangle. So let's say this is my triangle. So you want to calculate delta H for one mole. So what you got to do is, in this case, we have the Q in the numerator and n is the moles basically. So if you divide the Q value by the moles of alcohol, you basically get the enthalpy change of combustion for one mole. So let's calculate the number of moles of ethanol or alcohol. So we know the mass of alcohol from the problem here. It's 1.78 grams. If I divide that by the molar mass of alcohol, so the molar mass of C2H5OH, which is about 46.08 gram per mole. So that is uh, the number of moles here would be 0 0.0386 mole. So we have the moles of alcohol, we have the heat energy Q. Now we need to calculate the enthalpy change of combustion for one mole, delta H combustion. That's for one mole. So that's heat energy Q divided by the number of moles. So the number of moles is just what we calculated. So let me plug that in. So that would be 14.6 kilojoules divided by 0 0.0386 mole. So that would be about 378 kilojoule per mole. Now combustion reaction is, is an exothermic reaction. There is a net loss of energy to the surroundings. So we usually represent the loss of energy in an exothermic reaction or the enthalpy change for an exothermic reaction with a negative sign. So what does this negative sign mean basically? That, that is the amount of energy that is lost energy lost. So if you combust one mole of ethanol, 
this much of heat energy would be lost to the surroundings that's why it's an exothermic reaction so this is the expected value I think it uh, does make sense because uh, it's a lot greater than the value that you just calculated under Q so that is the amount of enthalpy change that happens when you combust or burn one mole of ethanol